Hi friends, this is Rahul Jain and in today's video we are going to discuss how to go about doing stock analysis in a step by step process. There are five broad analysis that one should do before selecting a stock. These are number one, broad macroeconomic analysis, number two, sector analysis, number three, fundamental analysis, number four, valuation analysis and number five, technical analysis. Let me explain each of them with their meanings, their examples and exact analysis to be done. Number one, broad macroeconomic analysis. Before you pick a stock to invest in, please check the overall macroeconomic factors and whether they are conducive for investing or not. Are there any prevailing geopolitical situations such as war, etc., that may have an impact on the overall market in near future? Are there any signs of economic slowdown or economic growth ahead? Are there any special global events such as elections, US Fed rate changes, high or low inflation rates, etc.? This is because stocks operate in a market, not in isolation. And no matter how good or bad a stock individually is, overall markets may drive stock prices and hence your returns may get impacted. Second, sector analysis. The second important step is to decide which sector you want to invest in. Few considerations are A. Growth outlook of the various sectors. How fast the various sectors are likely to grow in future. B. Risk associated with the sectors. What are the potential risks in these sectors and if these risks become reality, are you comfortable? C. Your current portfolio. And if you pick a stock from a specific sector, will it make you under diversified or over diversified? Number three, fundamental analysis. After you've decided which sector you want to pick a stock from, you can shortlist few quality stocks based on three critical parameters. Number one, revenue growth in the last three to five years. Number two, profit growth in the last three to five years. And number three, ROCE, ROE, ROA in the last three to five years. A comparative study will help you understand market leaders versus market laggards. You can narrow down to top two to three stocks and study these two to three stocks further in terms of A, their respective business mode, B, their management's past track record, C, their current business operations, including order book, inventory days, debt position, cash flow, etc. D, their shareholding pattern, including DIs and FI stakes. E, any mergers and acquisitions planned ahead. Annual reports containing PL and balance sheets must be studied along with the recent earnings presentations to deep dive into above aspects. Number four, valuation. Fundamental analysis in step three will tell you the quality of top three to four stocks and now to make your decision to pick one of these stocks, valuation must be used. Here the premise is to pick better quality stock at lower valuation. Both the underlying terms, better and lower are relative. You may not want to pick best stocks because it may be highly overvalued. Rather, you may want to pick a stock that is decent quality with very low or attractive valuation. Here, investors' experience play a vast role in picking stocks. For valuation, there are a lot of KPIs one can use such as PE ratio, PB ratio, sales to market cap ratio, and so on. Number five, technical analysis. Finally, we come to the last but not least, technical analysis. Up to step four, we have finalized one stock, but it does not mean we should right away invest in that stock. This is where technical analysis comes handy as technical analysis can help us optimize our entry point in a stock. Please note, I've used the term optimize as it's extremely hard to pick a stock at the least possible price. Here the idea is to look at the last few hours, days, weeks, charts to find patterns and based on the chart patterns, time your entry into a stock. Various technical indicators can be used such as RSI, MACD and so on. In summary, we have understood these five broad steps to pick a quality stock. But please remember, stock investing comes with experience. So if you're a beginner, take smaller steps by investing only little money and over time, when you become comfortable with your investment research style, you can increase your investments. I hope you found this video useful. I look forward to see you in my next video. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.